Looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way. You were saying? You do realize the reception's been cancelled, don't you? Go! Feed! <laughs> it's funny, really. Twilight here was suspicious of my behavior all along. Too bad the rest of you were too caught up in your wedding planning to realize those suspicions were correct. <laughs> Sorry, Twa. We should have listened to you. It's not your fault. She fooled every pony. Mm, I did, didn't I? This day has been just perfect. The kind of day of which I've dreamed since I was small. Every pony I'll soon control. Every stallion, mare, and foal. Who says a girl can really have it all? <laughs> Quick! Go to him while you still have the chance. to talk to... Spike! Huh? You went to talk to who? Oh, um, I don't remember. Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? What about this book? Spike, I'm worried about you. You're usually not so... grabby. My arms aren't usually this long, either. 
what's happening to me? Well, now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will Guy not feeling too good? Who's the brave Will boy? Huh? Who's the brave one? So? What do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon! That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. Oh, well, that would explain it. Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hm. Well, I'm flummoxed. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. A snake even faster, but... To be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. Thanks anyway. Come on, Spike. starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. <gasps> You mean, the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. This amazing broom. Spy! What? Come on, big boy. Look at this incredible broom. Spy!
Apple Bloom said you wanted to speak with me? Hello? Granny's in the... <gasps> well, hello there. How do you do? Uh, hi, uh, Granny Smith. Is uh, everything okay? Of course it is. Why was it be? <laughs> <laughs> Doctor? She's going to be fine. Luckily, she has friends like you who got her over here in a jiffy. Uh, how long do I need to lie here? I've got things I need to do. Well, that all depends on your recovery, but I'd say a few days minimum. You guys have got to get me out of here. I'm going to climb the walls. Oh, just like a spider. Did the crash somehow give her super duper spider powers? No, nor did it give her amazing healing powers. She needs to stay in bed for a few days. A few days? Might as well be a few months or a few years. It's not so bad, Rainbow Dash. I bet the chow in here is hooked looking good. And the hospital gowns, they match the curtains. And look, you have a roommate! Quest for the Sapphire Stone. This is the first story in the series. I own all of them. No thanks. I so don't read. I'm a world-class athlete. Reading's for eggheads like you, Twilight. <laughs> no offense, but I am not reading. It's undeniably, unquestionably, uncool. She's <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 serious? Who doesn't like to read a bang-up tale from time to time? Why, a good book is almost as magnificent as silk pajamas on a Sunday morning. <laughs> reading is for every pony, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I love reading. And my head is even close to the shape of an egg. It's more the shape of an apple. Or maybe an orange, but a big orange. More like a grapefruit, really. All right, my little ponies. Rainbow Dash needs her rest. You'll have to come back tomorrow. I think you'd like Daring. She's a lot like you. Adventurous, fierce, and undeniably, unquestionably, unstoppable.
As Daring Dew trekked through the tropical jungle, the wet heat sapped her energy and slowed her every step. If only she could escape this oppressive atmosphere and fly up into the cool blue sky. But her crash landing in the jungle had injured her wing and she was grounded for a few days. A few days. It might as well be a few months or a few years. I'm right there with you, sister. The mosquitoes buzzed loudly. The macaws cried from the high trees. Yet, all of these distracting noises were not enough to cover the sound of the predators following her every step. A treat from Sugar Cube Corner will cheer you up. No, it won't. A party will cheer you up. No, it won't. A lovely new chapeau will cheer you up. No, it won't. Come on, Apple Bloom. It's just a cutie mark. Or lack of a cutie mark. Shh, that's not helping. Apple Bloom, where are you going? Apple Bloom, come back. Well, who is it that we have here? Why, it's Apple Bloom, my dear. Oh! What has happened to you, youth? Ah, you've gone and chipped your tooth. Come with me. I have just the trick that will fix you up quite quick. I've tried everything, Decora, and still no cutie mark. Your frustration is well understood, but one must be patient for all things good. Oh, I've heard that from every pony I know, and now from every zebra I know. I'm just too impatient to be patient. I just want my cutie mark and I want it now! For your cutie mark, you will have to wait. We must fix that tooth before it's too late. Now, drink down every little drop, and this mixture will mend that chip on top. Oh, my star apples, you did, Sakura! Tonics that heal all sorts of ailments. Bad bones, bad back, bad breath. Yes, little one, it is true. I have many a healing brew. And not only stuff that fixes the bad, but stuff that brings the good. Good health, good hair, good heavens. Hmm. I bet you can mix up a brew to fix anything. There are many mixtures in this room. But none for what you want, dear Apple Bloom. A magic potion does not hold the key for a cutie mark. Time is the only remedy. Fine. What you got going on later? I am brewing up another mix for a rooster and his chicks. Seems the rooster has lost its crow, making mornings very slow. I've seen that flower blooming in Ponyville. What is it? It is one we call Heart's Desire. A dash will ignite the rooster's fire. With Heart's Desire, his talent comes into view, and he'll give a mighty cock a doodle doo. Sowie! Heart's Desire, huh? I mean, but what is this? I've run out of amethyst. I must go get this purple flower for my brew to have full power. Yeah, you go, you go. I'm <laughs> so hungry. Yeah, I can't wait. Ah! Ah, Blue, you got your cutie mark. 
I mean, it was. I mean, it is. Yes, it's pretty. Now put it down. I wonder where Cranky got this. Huh. Will you look at that? Hey, Cranky! Can I ask you about... What did you say? Yay, 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 yay! What have you done? Not all better, all soggy! I'm sorry, Cranky. Oh, you're sorry. Well, then everything is fine. It is? No, it isn't! Listen to me, kid. I will never be your friend. Never or never ever? Never, ever, 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 ever! That's four evers. That's like forever. I just can't believe it. Cranky said he would never, forever be my friend. It was horrible. I know this is hard for you, Pinky, seeing that you're friends with every pony, but you just have to accept that Cranky is going to be an exception. He just doesn't want to be bothered. Yeah, he doesn't want to be bothered by your over the top, super hyper antics. Rainbow! No, no. It's okay, Twilight. I get what you're saying, what you're both saying, and I guess. I can leave Cranky alone. Right after he accepts my apology. Cranky! No! No! Leave me alone! Wait! I understand that you don't want me as a friend! No! I don't! So I just wanted to say I'm sorry! Fine! You said it! But you accept my apology? No! Oh, Cranky, please accept my apology! Please! No! But I'm really, really, really... <laughs> really, really... Ah! Really, really, really... Really, really, really... Thing you can do. You ruined my book. You destroyed all I have to remember her by. Her? Her who? The special friend? Go away, Pinky! <laughs> Cranky, it's me again. I understand that you don't want to be my friend or accept my apology. Before I leave you alone forever, I have something to at least try to make up for ruining your book. No, I don't want it, kid. Anything you would give me is sure to lead to some sort of disaster. Goodness, you really are cranky. It can, and it is. Matilda, but how? Pinky. Ah! Forget it. I don't like ponies touching my hooves. Man, I love it if Gabby Gums did a story on me. She did one on me. What? Ah! Exclusive. Local dragon tells all. Spock opens up about Canterlot, Neps, and his fight for jams. It's our best column yet. More like your worst column yet. Yabby Gums didn't become the biggest thing in Ponyville with Namby Pamby stories like this. Uh, yeah, she's right. This column is a little softer than our usual gossip. Were you guys feeling guilty about all the gossip too? Like. 
Maybe we could be hurting other ponies' feelings? Yeah, I didn't want to say anything because every pony loves Gabby Gum so much, but I was sort of hoping we could start writing more stories like this one. Me too. If we're gonna get our cutie marks, we've got to give the ponies what they want. Aww. Applejack, asleep on the job. Can y'all believe this? And this one, Big Macintosh, what's he hiding? Who the hey does this Gabby Gums think she is? Listen to this one. Twilight Sparkle, I was a counterlot snob. A well-placed scaly source close to the prissy pony says Twilight Sparkle thinks Ponyville is nothing but muddy roads and low-class rubes. Spike! Ah! How could you say such a thing? Well, I did it! Gabby Gums made that up! I never said anything like that! Every pony, please! She's just a harmless school pony engaged in a little idle gossip. You're really making too big a deal out of this. But it's all lies. Gabby Gums prints whatever she wants. She doesn't care whose reputation she destroys. Fluttershy has tail extensions. Pinkie Pie is an out of control party animal. What? It's true. I do have a problem. <laughs> oh, look. According to this one, the cakes are breaking up. We are? Well, my life is officially over. Gabby Gums has made it to Cloudsdale. Rainbow Dash, Speed Demon or Super Softy? I grabbed as many copies as I could, but it was too late. I'm a laughing stock. See, Rarity, your so-called harmless gossip can be very hurtful. Honestly, you ponies have no sense of humor. So she tweaks a few ponies every now and then. Maybe they deserve... <gasps> I'll destroy her! The Drama Queen Diaries. She's reprinted my diary. How could Gabby Gum possibly get access to my private diary? We've got to put a stop to this once and for all. Sweetie Belle's on the newspaper staff. Maybe she knows who Gabby Gums is. <gasps> my sister would never associate with someone as beastly as Gabby Gums. I resent you even suggesting such a thing, Twilight. Why, she's the most innocent, most lovely. Most evil pony in Equestria! How could my own sister steal my private diary? How could my own sister be... Gabby Gums? It's two Gabby Gums! You know, how'd you find out? The gilded pages of your betrayal! Oh, yeah. How could you do this to me? You stole my sacred diary and published it for all the world to read. Gossip can be a very hurtful thing. It is an invasion of privacy, just like when I snooped through your saddlebag. You didn't like that much, did you? No. Help! Help! Looks like my Sky Swim will have to wait. I'm Rainbow Dash, and I'm here to rescue you. Crowd. Uh, thanks, every pony. It was really no big deal. To me, it was. You're my hero, Rainbow Dad. That Rainbow Dash sure is something. Something special. Just aren't enough words in the dictionary. 
dictionary to describe Rainbow Dash's awesomeness. I can think of a few new words, and I bet modest is not one of them. <laughs> no, but she is kind of awesome. thing might be going to Rainbow Dash's head. You may be right, silly. And then I zoomed into the well. I knew it would be dark and dangerous, but I didn't let that stop me. Danger's my middle name, Rainbow Danger Dash. Thinking back on it, I acted pretty awesomely heroic that day. That day. Awesomely heroic that day and awesomely arrogant ever since. Mm-hmm. Hey, Applejack. How would you like to be immortalized as my friend? Immortal what? Are you taking notes? Yep, I've been hoof picked by Rainbow Dash herself to write her autobiography. Um, autobiographies are supposed to be written by the pony they are about. Maybe for your normal run-of-the-mill ponies. But I'm far too busy saving lives to stop and write. That's why I hired Spike as my ghostwriter. Ah! Spike's a ghost! <laughs> 